Hi guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back or to my channel if you're new here. For today's video, I'm doing my current sneaker collection. I have been wanting to film this video for months. I've had it written down on my video ideas list, but I was putting off filming this video until I got a specific pair of sneakers that I knew I would eventually get. You guys have also requested a shoe collection, but honestly, sneakers take up 95% of my collection. I only probably have like three or four other pairs of shoes besides sneakers, so I thought this was the better option. If I can link all of these down below, I will. But let's get into it. I'm gonna move through this video by brand because that just seems to be the easiest for me. So we'll start off with New Balance. New Balance and Nike are probably my two favorite shoe brands. Firstly, I have the New Balance 530s in the navy blue color. I got these sneakers last year and they're probably my most worn sneaker from New Balance just because they're so multi-purpose. I wear these when I go on walks. I wear these when I go to the gym, but I also dress them up and wear them out in everyday fashion. For reference, I get these in a size seven, which is a men's five and a half. I'm traditionally a six and a half in everything, but for my New Balance dad sneakers, I size up just because I find they run a little bit small and I like a looser fit for my dad's sneakers, but that's just a personal preference. They're honestly so comfortable and I like how lightweight they are because of this mesh material all around the shoe. I just adore these sneakers so much. All of the details on them are so cool and they're pretty affordable too, which is always nice. The next sneakers I have from New Balance are the 990 V5s in the gray color. I picked these up last spring, I believe, when they were super popular. And honestly, I don't really wear them that much. Since I got my 530s, I tend to reach for those a lot more than these. I would honestly recommend the 530s over the 990s. I just find you can wear them with a lot more. And these ones are pretty pricey. I believe they're traditionally a running shoe, but I just wear them out in everyday styling. And these as well, I have in a size seven. I believe there's a few different colors along with the 530s, but I just got the traditional gray colorway. Lastly, from New Balance, I have two pairs of the 550s. Firstly, I have the green colorway and then I also have the gray colorway. I got these last summer off of GOAT before they got super popular. So I did get a pretty decent price for these. I believe this colorway now is up to like six or seven hundred dollars, which is insane. I didn't even pay half of that. These hold a special place in my heart because they were my first pair of expensive sneakers that I ever bought for myself and I truly got my cost per wear. I wore these pretty much every day at the end of summer 2021 and fall 2021. The green is just stunning and I really like the suede details on the toe. They're so good. For size reference, I get my 550s in a men's five, which is a woman's six and a half, which is my true size. Like I said, I also have the gray pair. I got these when Aritzia randomly stocked them in November, 2021. So I actually paid retail price for these for, I think it was like $130, which is so unheard of for the 550s. They're normally really hard to get your hands on and you have to buy them resold but I got super lucky. I believe they stocked the gray, the green, purple, and navy blue. I was debating between the gray and the navy blue, but I already have a navy blue New Balance 530s, so I opted for the leather gray color, and I'm so happy that I did. I would say these are my dedicated white sneaker when I want to wear something super casual because they are predominantly white. They just have the little pop of gray on the bottom. I just love how retro these are. They are so my vibe. I'm obsessed. And guys, these are so comfortable. I remember 
people saying that they were but i didn't really get actually how comfortable they were until i got them that is it for my new balance sneakers and now let's get in to my nikes firstly from nike i have the nike air force shadow so these are a little bit of a different style than the traditional nike air force they have more of a platform sole and they also have this really cool cream shadowed stitching for the swoosh along with this patch here and the flap at the top before i got the shadows i was just buying the standard grade school air forces because i can fit into kids sizes and they were comfortable but the woman's sizing is definitely a lot more comfortable i noticed a difference right away i don't know if it's maybe just because it's the shadows they're like a tier up in the air force and they're a little bit more expensive out of all my sneakers i probably wear these the most just because they're really basic and easy to style and i would consider these my beaters so whenever i don't really care about what shoes i'm wearing i just throw these on i just opted for the shadow because the details are a little bit more unique than the traditional air force you see everyone wearing i know they do look very similar but there is a difference and i have my shadows in a woman's six and a half i was debating if i even wanted to include the next pair because i have not wore them in over a year but i guess they are still a part of my collection so i'm going to include them but i have the nike air force mids and i have these in the grade school size five youth which is a men's five i believe like i said i don't wear them that much now but these were everything to me at the end of 2020 early 2021 i got these because the mid and high top jordans were so popular and i wanted a pair so bad but i didn't want to spend the money so i just opted for a higher cut of the air force because they're the mid they're a little bit higher and there is a velcro strap lastly from nike and the newest addition to my sneaker collection i have the nike dunk lows in the black and white color these are the 2021 release i actually remember i tried to get these when they got released last spring but it's so hard to get these retail because the bots sell them out instantly so i did have to buy these resold so they were a little bit more expensive than the retail price but these were my birthday present to myself from myself yet to wear them because i actually got these last night for sizing i got a women's six and a half and honestly i could have worked with the six i should have done a little bit more research before i just find it creases a little bit so i think a size down would have prevented that these are my pride possession and out of all my sneakers currently these are my favorite for the longest time i wanted the panda high top jordans and i'm honestly really happy that i didn't get those and waited a few years to get the lows because high tops and mid tops are so annoying to take on and off and i know i would be so frustrated by that so i'm definitely happy that i opted for the low cut it's just a lot more practical i have one pair of converse and they're the chuck 70s black high top I got these around a month ago and I have wore them so much already. I think going into spring and summer, my dunks in these are going to be my favorite sneakers. The Chuck 70s are different than the Chuck Taylors. Instead of being white, they're cream. And then also the laces and the fabric are different. Also the logo on the back. I don't know i personally just prefer these because i think they're a little bit more unique these also double as my gym shoes whenever i'm lifting but i do wear them out a lot in everyday styling as well and i don't know what it is about the chuck 70s but they're the most comfortable pair of converse i've ever owned finishing off i have a pair of vans and i believe this is just the standard old school style i have a woman's six and a half which is a men's five honestly not much to say a classic sneaker vans are well loved for a good reason they're really good quality comfortable they truly never disappoint and that concludes my current sneaker collection for 2022 i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i've been getting so many requests for this over the past few months so if i can have all of these linked down below i will i thought now is the perfect time to film this video because i finally got 
the last pair of sneakers that I wanted like honestly at the moment I'm so content with my collection and I don't see myself getting any other sneakers for a very long time which is unheard of but yeah let me know in the comments what your favorite pair was or what your favorite sneaker in your collection is I love you guys and I'll see you in a few days with a new video Thank you.